Hi, it's Chris Watkin here, and I'm joined again by Spencer Lawrence, and we're here in the gardens of Allington Manor. It's raining, but we're here to talk about mental health. Um, Spencer, um, you run Paramount, big agency. Um, what are you doing to promote well-being and mental health within your business? Talk to me. This is something that we've been really focusing on, particularly in the last few months post COVID. We were acutely aware of the unintended consequences of people working from home for extended periods. We have a unique team of people with different wants and needs, people with very young families, people living by themselves, living with vulnerable parents, for example. And the question was, how can we make sure that all of these people are well and happy? We've tried to, over the years, do lots of things for people from reflexology in the office, to have a masseuse in, to lots of team events, as you'd expect any good agent to do. And I think the well-being piece is a, a little bit of a taboo subject. There's a bit of a concern, a stigma attached that if you announce that maybe you're not feeling great, um, and we all have those days that in some way that could be a sign of weakness. So what we decided very recently is in front of the team, um, socially distanced, of course, uh, that myself and operations director Reagan um, had a conversation with the team about our own struggles individually with mental well-being. For a couple of reasons, I wanted to get it off my chest. It's something that is um, been part of my working days over a long period of my career and I hadn't really shared it with many people you know the very core people within the business and of course my friends and family and I guess I wanted to make sure that the team felt it okay to have a conversation it's okay to say I'm feeling a bit low I'm a bit vulnerable and I do think that sometimes, particularly business owners, have to have this sort of invis be invincible almost, that they can just roll with the punches. We can't, I can't. And with a sort of team supporting around me, um, I think we can go a lot further to helping each other. Um, and we're trying to create a workplace that thrives. And that's not just a business that thri thrives. This is about thriving as individuals, as a team, and then as a byproduct of that, we believe the business will do well. Quite brave to be showing your colours, being vulnerable to your team, don't you think? Something that I was very unsure of saying. So I confided in two people in the office. It wasn't easy. Um, it's out of my comfort zone. And I felt just a total release of energy after I'd said it and it was off my chest. And what happened as a byproduct of that is we created things on a Slack channel called a happy place. So people would share great things about their personal world. So, you know, I've got a new puppy, look at my nephew, I'm out walking here or some funny thing that a, a wee toddler is doing or whatever. And I just think it galvanizes that team and humanizes the team. And rather than expecting people just to come in a robotic, start at nine and finish at six or whatever the time is, actually we're all different people with wants and needs, with different characteristics. Some of us work better in the morning, some of us work better in the evening. It's just creating an environment where everyone fits. We're not saying this is how you need to work. It's like, hey, how do you work at your natural best? Weren't you worried that your staff, your colleagues would think less of you to show that you weren't the perfect person you are? Because if you don't mind me saying, you are put on a pedestal in the industry as being almost the perfect letting agent. I, as I said, I was unsure. Um, but if I'm asking for people to be brave and I'm going to be part of agents together about being open, um, I thought it was hypocritical for me not to be in a situation where I would open up. And if, I, if, if I'm not going to be a true representation of myself to the team, then I'm hiding things from them. And how can I expect them to be open back? So would you therefore say that it's important to show vulnerability to your team 
to say, you know, yourself, if you're going to promote well-being and mental health in your own team, because it's all it's all very easy saying, hey, we're going to do promote mental be wellness. But if you don't do it yourself and don't prove it to yourself, they're not going to believe you, are they? I don't think so. And that was a it, it, that's why for me, it was <laughs> take the leap, do it, say it. And actually, if the team had issue with it, I said, if anyone wants to come and talk to me one on one, I'm happy to do that. But it did the complete opposite to what I had thought in my mind might happen. And uh, there was a big coming together. I felt a huge sense of relief. And actually, um, I hate being put on a pedestal because, you know, I, I feel like I don't have to have dark, my dark moments, my low moments in a lonely place. I can speak to people open about, openly about it. And that's really important to me and obviously to the rest of the team. Okay, so you, you forward. so you've been you you put your heart on your sleeve and sh basically told them what the problems you've been through in the past. Yeah, and and your current issues, it didn't backfire. But do you think it's actually made a difference to your team? Have they have they opened up to you and the rest of them? I mean, you said this Slack channel that's just sending some pretty pictures. What what actual difference has it made? I I think it the support network within the team, the understanding that actually people have that they ebb and flow they have their ups and downs that for sure obviously we're at early stages you know this is an infant game it's not it's not we're not done we haven't ticked the box and we no. move on we're at the start of this new journey and we have had situations where other people said yeah i'm just not i'm not feeling quite right today or i don't want to come into work because i'm not feeling right or i want to work from home because i just prefer to today or whatever it might be so yeah, it's opened um, dialogue channels up and we have a buddy system in the office. They are not from a training perspective, but from a just being my buddy, I'm just gonna open up. And these are normally, so we might have someone from the accounts team, from client accounts speaking to an asset manager and actually they're buddying up. So just creating this sort of friendship and this bond, because if you really want this on a team to go on a journey with you, they have to feel together and not just together with a small accounts department and asset managers and the consultants, you know, who, you know, as, as negotiators for most other businesses. If you if you want to be together, we have to be open. It has to be a warts and all scenario. And it, what what's the downside of opening up? And I guess the one thing I wish I did is open up earlier. But it is what it is. Thank you for your time today, Spencer. Well-being and mental health within a state and letting agency is an important factor. In fact, it's in all of our aspects of our life. If someone wants just to pick the phone up to you and just pick your brains on this, are you happy for any agents to pick the phone up, you know, bosses, and just say, how did you do it? 100%. How, how we're proposing to do it. We're at the start of the journey, for sure. But at least but you've yet to share at least ideas. We've started. started. we started. The ball's rolling. And it's super exciting. And you've got a happier team there's more glue between them all it sounds like a win-win situation doesn't it we've got each other's backs can't say much more than that thank you for your time pleasure